okay so here we are we are with yeah this output and we have linked the external CSS right here now first I will start with ID every tag has its unique ID let's say ID of this is para1 we'll save it and here it will be for hash para1 I'll save it and run it so it's only for this first paragraph okay in CSS now you need not write the P for paragraph the whole styling will be done according to the ID okay now let's say if I try to use one more ID para2 save it I'll copy this I'll paste it para2 okay color red save run so yeah in this way it works if I try to use same ID again it works but generally ID are not expected to be same for more than one tags okay now second it's class let's say p is a part of class name naruto okay and let's say this is also part of class naruto now how to separate these two let's say if we do this h4 it must be a class okay now I'll save this I'll make this p dot naruto and this as h4 or h5 okay h4 h4 dot naruto save and run okay I messed up with spelling yeah so this is working now if I will try to do same with id then it won't work see the output yeah because what happen is when we use id oh sorry <laughs> i haven't right id hash naruto what is happening to my spelling man yeah because we cannot specify two different tags with the tag in id we are using just the id and whenever we are using class then we are using tag as well as id to differentiate so in this way class is more useful compared to ids so that's it from this video so you can also use id and class in internal css but now on we will just use external css for our more videos so that's it See you in next one. If you like it then don't forget to hit the subscribe button.